How's it going people? It's Rozzy and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can make an awesome manipulation effect uh, in Photoshop of any character you want. So I'm gonna be selecting Star Lord from Marvel Universe. Uh, you might be knowing about him. So first I'm gonna be having some background image that I have downloaded from pixels.com. You can check it out, it is available. Just name anything and rasterize this layer. Yes. I have downloaded this PNG from google.com you can check it out it is available there you have just all you have to do is some research on it and find it out just don't type in the comments that no PNG no link no like so please don't do that uh, so here I'm gonna be having this image now you have to blend this image uh, in a way that it matches with the background so all you have to do is first of all I'm gonna be deleting this above black color then selecting this both of the main background there and going to modify and click on expand about 5 or 2 you can select I'm gonna be selecting the 5 then press shift plus backspace or just go to the fill and content awareness Once you're done with this, you have to adjust this image according to yourself or according to your need, whatever you want from your image. So, I just got to adjust some things. You can see there are some patches over there. Once you're done with this, you can even remove this hand by selecting this hand and, and deleting it from this layer and again selecting that content awareness is gonna be helping you a lot in doing that. So I'm gonna be doing it in a way that may look somewhat more realistic. You can see it now. It's matching with the background. And I have just adjusted it now. Just to adjust this mask on this image, you have to select this mask and arrange it so that my face may come. Once you're done with this, you have to apply some black color on it because we don't want this mask. You can either apply somewhat luminosity if you want or you can decrease its opacity to hide it. Now I'm going to be duplicating this layer and removing it and just double click on it and click color overlay and just go for black. Once you're done with this, bring on this layer, rasterize layer style and click on this mask tool. Then select on the brush tool and with the 100% opacity bring the eyes of Star Lord in front.
once you're done with this click on the mask selection create a new layer and bring on the red color in it just delete this mask and here we go now with the black color layer of star lord mask you have to decrease its opacity <coughs> once you're done with it you have to just remove some parts of the main image because we want it as a black one Once you're done with it, create a new layer and with the brush tool with 100% opacity you have to <coughs> you have to select the black color and just erase these black these white lines which are appearing. Once you're done with it, and just merge up these layers, and with your this layer, just click on the mask tool, and with black color, you have to show some of these grids of Star Lord. Um, just a little bit. Once you're done with it, create some more realistic tones like look at this, it is looking somewhat unreal so I'm gonna be deleting it from here. You can do this with your mask tool. Now once you're done with this, just group all these layers and name it mask then create a new layer and create it as a pack layer over go for the brush tool According to your background, you have to uh, add some shines over here. The way I'm doing. Now once you're done with this, you have to add some more shines if you want by adding some more red lights. And once you're done, 
just click on the new layer and control shift alt and e which is going to be merging your all layers into a single one and go on filter and camera raw filters to add some last stones Once you're done with this, just add some more vignettes if you want, or you can just go on with the previous one, it's also looking good. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe me, this is gonna be promoting me to make some more tutorials like this one. So thanks for watching guys, comment what should I make next one, thank you.